In this demonstration, we will showcase the experience of an end user with device posture enabled. As you can see, we are logged on to an end device. First, we will open a process called notepad.exe on this device. Next, we will try to access the workspace URL from this end device using Citrix workspace application. Since device posture service is enabled for this URL, the system will check the device requirements before allowing an end user to log in. As you can see, the end user is denied login due to notepad.exe process running on the end device. The system also provides a transaction ID to end user, which can be shared with the admin to understand the reasons for denied access. Let's kill the notepad.exe process and try to access the workspace URL again. Now, we are expecting the system to categorize the device as non-compliant and allow the end user to log in with restricted access to Citrix workspace resources. Similarly, the system can categorize a device as compliant based on device posture policies configured and could have provided full access to the end user. For this demonstration, we will stick with non-compliant use case. For simplicity, we have appended words NC to the application name to showcase that the end user is provided with a restricted access. In this case, the end user is also provided with access to a demo desktop. This concludes our demo for end user experience with Citrix device posture service enabled.